Yeah, so, yes, what I'm doing right now, obviously, is that uh, earlier in the day, I saw the uh, official E3 trailer by Nintendo. Yeah, I saw it during my lunch break, obviously, at work, because obviously, you know, you know, at work and stuff. So, obviously, you know, when I saw the, uh, the trailer, I was super uh, excited. Uh, the good thing is that I was able to skim through the trailer as quickly as I can, because thankfully, uh, a lot of the uh, comment section actually left some timestamps. For certain games and, and things, and I really appreciate that, because let's be perfectly honest. A lot of the trailers for Nintendo E3 were RPGs. And I'm going to be perfectly honest, a lot of those RPGs are not my cup of tea. Some are, some aren't. You know, games like Dragon Quest, you know, it's great and all. I appreciate that, but a lot of the other uh, games are just uh, shovelware games, in my opinion. You know, when it comes to all these other RPG games that I don't care about and Nintendo wastes almost four minutes talking about it, like, oh, mom, move it along, we don't care. Get to the good stuff, you know. But other than that, you know, that's all I had to say about that. And I apologize for the background noise, obviously, and I just got home recently. You know, I just want to make a quick reaction video towards uh, the Nintendo E3 presentation. And, uh, yeah, let's get started. Uh, first of all, uh, Nintendo won E3, by the way. You know, there's no debating about this. They had the better presentation. And unlike these other, you know, uh, publishers and companies, Nintendo actually showed off gameplay footage. You know, gameplay, not just a trailer, you know, which is what we want because, I don't know, you're advertising games. I want to see gameplay, not just a trailer. If I want to go see a trailer, I'll go watch it on YouTube. You know, if it's, you know, just, you know, pointing out facts here. Looking at you, Bethesda, your presentation was really uh, disappointing, but oh, what else is new? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, what you're seeing right now, obviously, is a mixture of the three trailers that I uploaded uh, earlier in the day. I hope you all enjoyed all that because I had a little bit of free time, uh, a little bonus free time during my lunch break, and I decided, you know what, uh, I just wanted to post these trailers out for all of you, and I hope you're all enjoying them because those three trailers were my favorites for, uh, this year's E3, obviously, and uh, let's talk about uh, Smash Brothers, obviously. Yeah, because we've all been, you know, you know, anticipating who's going to be added to Smash. Well, obviously, uh, first of all, I don't know the name of the character, obviously, because you have to uh, forgive me on that, because I don't I don't play uh, Dragon Quest, obviously, but whoever that character is, obviously, I'm assuming is a fan favorite of that franchise, so... Alright, that's cool and all. I just, I mean, to me, I wasn't really excited. I just said, really, another swordsman? Like, come on, we already have enough of those already. Seriously, another swordsman? It's just like another copy-paste of Marth and, uh, and Roy. It just feels cheap, but whatever. Fuck it, he's here. And then, obviously, uh, just, just, uh, near the end of the, uh, E3 presentation by Nintendo, we saw a, uh, an awesome, uh, presentation uh, which took place in, uh, DK's, uh, house, actually. Yeah, DK, Diddy, and K. Rule all just, you know, chilling there. And then, obviously, you saw that silhouette. And right off the bat, I said, oh, hell yeah, it's Banjo. And then, obviously, uh, Sakurai, as he likes to troll everybody, it was Duck Hunt. And I said, motherfucker. I literally said that loud at work. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I was watching this trailer with a couple of my coworkers. It was actually hilarious. Well, I said, fuck. And then after we saw, and then after that, moments later, we saw the real Banjo uh, with Kazooie curb stomp uh, Duck Hunt. That was fucking exciting. We all cheered so loud, said, "Hell yeah, he's here! It's Banjo!" And then when you see that image of all three of those uh, characters from Rare, they're all super excited. That's the representation that we all got. Like you know, Banjo's finally back in a Nintendo you know, platform for the first time in almost in almost twenty years. When you think about it, because Banjo Two was the last you know, licensed Nintendo game that was on their home console. Everything else after that was, you know, because Microsoft has the rights to the franchise, unfortunately. So, you know, this will be the first time that Banjo will make it into a Nintendo console in almost, uh, almost 20 years. Let's say 19, just to give or take. You never know. So, yeah, I was super excited about that because... I'm not gonna lie, because the other character... Not worth spending $5 or $6 or whatever the hell they charge for DLC. Not worth my money. Really not. It's really not. But for Banjo, all glad. You know, obviously the classic meme, shut up and take my money. I'm all in. You know, because Banjo, you know, I and I'm really hoping this leads to a future Banjo-Kazooie game. You know, because that's a, pla a popular platformer series. And it's the real reason why Ukulele was even, 
why ukulele even came into fruition because everybody wanted a high demand platformer game you know there's only so much people could just deal with you know mario and sonic platformers all the time and you know they just love the banjo series because it's fun it's a fun collect-a-thon kind of platformer so i hope it leads into something like that in, in a future uh, a future banjo game later on the road and then obviously then we have luigi's uh mansion uh three which is awesome i love the the aesthetics just looks beautiful so now they're in a ho now they're in a hotel looks cool hotel mario Hotel Luigi. I like the fact that they're actually name uh, name dropping that reference from that god awful CDI game. You know, Hotel Mario. Obviously, if you understand what I'm talking about. And then, of course, then you have uh, the game. You know, the, and I like that scene right there. I mean, the thumbnail I chose. You know, Luigi's just sitting down reading a book or a pamphlet. Sitting, the, and then you have Poochie right there, the ghost of Poochie. It just looks so adorable. That's why I chose that picture as the thumbnail for that for that trailer. And the gameplay looks really fun. And I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, I never played the original, but I'll try to let's play it uh, later in the year or eventually. But I will, I, I will add it to the list if I can. And then obviously the, the final trailer was the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild uh, sequel. Because when you saw the trailer and the amazing musical piece, this is too good to be a sequel. I mean, this is too good for it to be DLC. And then of course you saw that clip of Ganon. Obviously, he's still alive, obviously, and the way his eyes were all red like that, like, fuck, it kind of reminded me of, like, like, a, like, a Kuma. Mostly Oni, if you all get that reference, like, he's purely evil, so obviously he's still alive, and it's cool, like, and Nintendo already confirmed, uh, obviously in the trailer, confirmed that it's a sequel, and that's awesome, you know, and I'm really, you know, excited about that, you know, and it's, um, it's awesome. Now, obviously, you know, there's not much I can really talk about, you know, I mean... We already, I mean, I really didn't talk about Pokemon Shield and Sword. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I really didn't want to talk about it because, yeah, I'm excited and all that. Just didn't have the, the, the appropriate time to just make a quick reaction video towards that. Because you have other, you have other, other, other uh, popular uh, YouTubers that could do that a lot better. So why even throw in my two cents on something like that? And... Yeah, man, Pokemon Shield and Sword looks great. Obviously, that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be, uh... A console seller without a doubt and uh yeah I, mean, I was a little bummed that there was that a bayonetta 3 was not shown i was a little bummed but at the same time actually glad it wasn't shown because i don't because here's the thing i do not want bayonetta 3 when that trailer does come out i do not want that series to get overshadowed by anything else obviously you have a uh, you know because obviously everyone's talking about you know the sequel towards link to the past is it gonna have co-op you know what's the story gonna be you know it's interesting you know and then bayonetta will get forgotten about so i'd rather just have the focus be on the main trio which is banjo then you have zelda and of course you have uh, uh luigi's mansion obviously i mean i understand you know you have dragon quest and of course animal crossing being delayed till 2020 uh, i was a little bummed about that too you know both me and my cousin were but uh, but you know nintendo you know they take their time with their games, so it's worth it. Obviously, we can wait. It's just that we really was were hoping for the release date to be maybe the holiday of this year, but oh well. Yeah. So overall, this presentation was a uh, pretty solid, actually. You know, in the beginning, op uh, the opening actually got a, uh, we all had a good laugh. Obviously, we saw Bowser, uh, both Bowsers actually. If you get that reference, it was really hilarious. Yeah, I was kind of hoping they would keep the big Bowser around next to the uh, current uh, president of uh, Nintendo of America. That would have been real cool. They would have kept them together. Would have been a nice skit, but I hope they think of that next year, actually, when you think about it. Because I already see that being a meme, if it, if it already isn't at the time of this recording. And it should be a lot of fun. So, yeah, and that's another thing. Nintendo, they, they do fun right. You see, you don't have to go all extravagant. You don't have to be all lavish with your presentations like Microsoft or with their presentation. You know, just keep it simple. You know, keep it like 40 minutes or less. Talk about gameplay, this and that. And of course, you still have the Treehouse event. If you still want to see those games in action, you know, there's plenty to do there. So, yeah, so Nintendo does fun right. And a lot of these games are going to be, you know, console sellers, which is the key right now. And I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to it. So let me know in the comment section which games are you looking forward to. I already, I already basically showed you which three games I'm looking forward to. So I hope you all enjoyed this and talk to you later. All right. Peace.